With this, we are uh, coming towards the end. Let's just take take a small uh, recap of what we have experienced in the last uh, two days. So, when we set about with the conference, you know, our objective was to go into all aspects of storytelling traditions of India. That is. What are the different forms? Why are they so many different forms? What is the relationship of a form with a social context or a geographical situation, a cultural situation? What do our storytelling traditions contain? How are they structured? Why are they structured the way they are structured? And the diversity of the eventual form that is in front of us, that is the musical form or you know, pure narration form, the dance based form. And in each of these, I think Bharatiya Parampara has, uh, has shaped hundreds of different varieties. So many more varieties would have probably passed in time and may not have been passed to us. And whatever we currently have, that itself, I think, uh, we, are, we are struggling to kind of uh, retain that and revive that and pass it on to the future generations. At the same time, there is a certain impact on the society. There is a reason why you are building these narrative forms, these storytelling forms. You want them to serve a certain cultural purpose within the uh, society. And those purposes don't change. They, they are they are getting built over a period of time. So we, you need to understand why a certain what what is the purpose a certain form uh, is uh, achieving for you in the society. For example, lalabi, the narrative forms within a lalabi and the narrative forms within dasapada they are entirely uh, different. They are serving to different purposes. The dasapadas have within them contained entire civilizational perspective compressed into few lines through which you can actually jump you know into the uh, depths of uh, those stories so this way there is a lot of artistic and creative energy that has gone into shaping all of this so it is extremely important for us to understand all of this in their in their structure, the way it appears, the, the uh, purpose, the context, and so on. And why is all that important? That is important because of what, you know, Professor Bala just said, that if we have to pass on a certain perspective of life, values, and everything about your culture that you've cherished, these narrative forms are extremely important. It is very clear that communities and individuals who have had deeper engagement with them are not only stable, but also pass them on successfully uh, to the future generations. So this was an opportunity for us all to come together and see all this, analyze all this, reflect them in the modern plane that is extremely important. Our education system until 1835 has been of a certain order, certain nature. If you, if you read books of Dharampal, you'll, you'll get a picture of what is the kind of uh, education system we would have had. And in that storytelling will, would have come first. Ramayana, Mahabharata, Bhagavata, Panchatantra, Raghuvamsha. That is how the whole thing was flowing. Now we have lost that tradition, not just that tradition. At the same time, the knowledge creation itself has moved to an entirely different paradigm. And in that paradigm, if we have to bring our storytelling traditions, there is a certain different kind of a study that is required. And we saw in the first few sessions where 
the authors went into the storytelling forms, genres, narrative structures, and so on, and extracted very interesting elements. So we will need that kind of a study. So that is why this conference is that of both the academicians and the performers. So we together come, so we together have to coexist. We have to uh, learn from each other. That is the new way in which we are going to figure out how to revive these traditions. What are the new, that's why we had one section on you know, applications of storytelling. They are entirely modern. So that is how the past has to engage with the present and then figure out a natural course of flowing into the future. So, you know, we hope that, you know, to some extent, we have inspired ourselves in undertaking uh, that journey. At the same time, it is important, in just, just about coming together and knowing each other, all people interested and practicing storytelling and interested in storytelling you know, just knowing each other and becoming part of community, that itself is a, a very significant uh, power. So uh, we hope we have taken uh, some steps in this uh, direction and uh, uh, we, we, we shall continue to be in touch with each other on this for future projects, as uh, Dr. Nagaraj mentioned. And uh, some of these papers will also be a part of a you know, eventual uh, uh, you know, paper. And of course, all the papers will go into Indica uh, today. Our WhatsApp group will continue to exist so that we can all uh, engage with uh, each other, exchange notes, work together, collaborate. And uh, we will continue to continue our journey in, in, in this uh, indigenous storytelling traditions uh, of India. Thank you so much, and I um, request uh, Deepaji to deliver the vote of thanks. Thank you very much. Namaste to all, all the panelists, to everyone who made this um, conference much beyond even what we had imagined when we began. Um, I remember a message just couple of days before the conference started, which said, are you excited about how it has shaped up? I'm very excited, uh, Hariji mentioned. And I said, of course, I am more than excited. Uh, this is far beyond what I'd imagined. Uh, so each and every person who came here, who presented, and all those who came to attend as well, um, we really are grateful. I also uh, want to take this personally an opportunity to thank uh, Professor Nagaraju, uh, Shiv Kumar ji, Hari ji, Srinivas ji, the entire team, um, particularly for you all even coming up with this thought and this initiative and this concept that we have to bring together the people who are theorizing and those who are on ground in uh, when we are talking about storytelling traditions. So, and the way this has been gone about not only was the seed so valuable the way uh, the care was taken with the soil with the planting with the papers with deciding you know which will go how how will we uh, create the separate sections in this inviting the other tellers at every step there was not only so much thought uh, the responses and and the way it all fell in place Repeatedly, I've been hearing the word movement and flow, movement and flow and sthirita, movement, flow, sthirita. Um, that has been how this conference has gone by for me. So uh, really grateful. And uh, I've been having WhatsApp messages of both kinds, you know, from the storytellers who are uh, really happy that they went ahead. And uh, because academia is something a lot of them had a different notion of, that they went ahead and uh, gave into the persuasion that have been behind with so many and their own, uh, their own, of course, uh, initiative and effort to come and make this. And another entire set of those storytellers who are now saying that, oh, I wish I had sent that paper. You persuaded me so many times. So the conference has just inspired uh, so many people uh, from the community. And so I've been telling all of them, oh, don't worry, there's a next time. There's always a next time. Um, which is my point, really. Uh, I, it would be difficult to mention everyone for sure, but just just um, to mention a few, Dr. Koshis, uh, 
you know, interpreting the sequences in the Katha Sarit Sagar of uh, literally implying the embodying of uh, embodying of story because um, Pushpadanta and Mandi Mandi write with their blood uh, interpretations like that or the land of the Lord. Uh, Dr. Vinita's exposition of insights into the journey of a Katha Vachak who until very recently was around uh, Ram Singh Kinkar um, or the um, prenatal storytelling, uh, Gauri Rajes and uh, Lokesh Bhai's works giving us so much of caution on how we have to have uh, sensitivity and thoughtfulness when we go about, as Professor Nagaraju put it, activism uh, in anthropology. What is the sensitivity which, with which they are coming? I, I could go on about the various insights that we've had, including today, the stories of uh, 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 presentation, which itself was a storytelling of the part, uh, snake motives, or uh, Gita Ji's of the symbols and sounds and the larger motives of nature itself. Um, each one, I've mentioned only a few, but each one of these, together, the analogy that's really coming to me is it feels like the caterpillar has been in the cocoon of January 21st and January 22nd, two entire days spent in this cocoon and each one chewing and chewing and chewing and so much from each other, giving and taking. Um, this end does not feel at all like the end of the conference. It really feels like the next stage, uh, you know, the metamorphosis is happening and this is the next stage we're all going towards. So very, very thankful once again to everybody and for all the learning, especially um, the initial stage pre-conference stage, Professor Nagaraj Daru and Ashit Kumarji. Thank you so much. And, uh, oh yes, Professor Bala, you started by saying that you, perhaps what you're speaking doesn't fit in, but that's precisely why we wanted you, because you would bring all the insights that you aptly did, the Katha traditions, the Shavanam, Shabdam, everything. So thank you all and wishing everyone all the very best. And uh, as, as we all see it, Indika is really going to take this forward further. So it's a beautiful journey ahead of people. Before we all uh, leave, uh, let me make a few announcements uh, in behalf of Indic Academy. Uh, one very important uh, one is uh, the future conferences that we are going to uh, have. Uh, Professor Bala, uh, I think, will be excited to know, and uh, we, are, we love to have him in that conference. We're going to have a conference on uh, Indic studies in ethics, law, and justice. It's going to be a conference on jurisprudence. Uh, uh, it's uh, very soon going to be there. And we have already announced a conference on Hinduism and environmentalism. Earlier, we conducted a conference on indigenous environmentalism. Now we are going to focus uh, only on Hinduism uh, and that's going to be there. And the immediate next conference is going to be Hinduism and environmentalism conference. And after that, we are going to have a conference on feminine in Hinduism, uh, femininity in Hinduism. Actually, uh, the contemporary feminist movements, uh, they contradict the idea of femininity itself, uh, the nature, nurture, debate, the whole thing. Uh, but uh, we would like to show how uh, identifying feminine uh, is uh, not anti-family uh, through our conference. So it, it is uh, going to be uh, held in Gauhati. Currently it is planned to be conducted at Kamakya uh, physically. Uh, if, if everything goes well with the pandemic condition, uh, it's going to be like that. Otherwise it's going to be online uh, like this conference. Uh, and uh, we have many, many more such conferences on uh, in our pipeline. Please be tuned. There were questions in the question and answer box uh, about how to keep uh, tuned to Indic Academy, how to keep in touch with Indic Academy. Indic Academy has its own website, friends. Uh, please uh, go to Indic Academy website. All our announcements are made on Indic Academy website. And uh, we have a YouTube channel, Indic Academy YouTube channel. And already the live uh, recordings of this conference are uploaded. They are being actually telecast live on the Indic Academy YouTube channel. And uh, I thank profusely our uh, 
back end team uh, our office team sri srinivas garu and sri koti garu every one of our conferences is a grand success only only because of srinivas garu and koti garu and now koti garu is very busy already uploading these recordings uh, to the indic academy youtube channel and he will be very busy next 2 3 days editing each of these presentations into individual recordings and all these individual presentations will be uploaded so those of you who have missed uh, any of these presentations can go to those individual presentations that are uploaded to our indic academy youtube uh, channel by shri koti garu um, and uh, every one of you is invited to every one of our conferences please please send your abstracts please send your proposals and our founder sri harikiran garu who gives all these titles all saleable titles indigenous storytelling hit super hit title uh, hindu meditation super hit every actually our uh, founder uh, sri harikiran garu uh is such a great intellectual with a business acumen uh that combination of business acumen and intellectuality gives him this ability of giving all these wonderful ideas every one of our conference ideas emerge from his mind and uh, the titles also are given by him and uh, uh, he has promised to each one of you that whatever you want to do for indic studies indic academy is ready to give you whatever it it could even sound exotic to say that uh, it could even sound uh, exaggerated to uh, say that but it is true sri harikiran garu's uh, uh, promise to himself and promise to uh, the society is that there should be nobody who works for anything in dec that backs out because of lack of funding lack of support lack of help uh so please uh, keep this promise in mind um what do you want please tell us it's going to be with you whatever okay thank you very much thank you very much everybody sarve jana sukhino bhavantu i think uh, it was a indeed a satsang last uh, two days nothing short of satsang uh, uh, you know a, a true satsang in the uh, tradition of uh, bharatiya parampara and uh, it's just been a blessing going through this uh, experience like uh, nagraj garu said hari ji's vision dr nagraj's scholarship and guidance deepa ji's experience of being a practitioner course my interest in just being part of this you know and not just that all of you you know uh taking part in this with the same kind of passion that uh, we also you shared our passion and we rubbed on each other and every paper was uh, fantastic and there is so much of learning that has been there in this thank you very much and we will continue to be in touch and we'll meet in other conferences and other projects and other collaborations thank you